Yeah, yeah, no problem. Nice to meet you. Um, so, uh, I'm 29 years old. I was, uh, referred to you by my, uh, primary care physician, uh, due to, um, feelings of sadness and loss of interest, uh, and suicidal thoughts. Uh, I'm single. Um, not too long ago, I lived with my mom. Uh, in a small apartment, and uh, she died several months ago, and I'm just just having a hard time dealing with feelings of grief, guilt, and uh, basically uh, just not myself. I'm not myself since uh, the passing of my mom. I'm only child from Mexico. Uh, from a family who immigrated uh, to the U.S. basically in the late 60s. Uh, I have memories since I was five or six just playing with my toys with my mom helping her uh, cook and clean around the house too so that my dad would be happy that, the, that he would excuse me come home to uh, to basically a clean house after a 12 hour shift. He uh, he worked at a factory and I, when I turned 10 years old, the, <laughs> the family could no longer survive on my dad's uh, salary basically. Uh, and with my mom's limited English, it's, it was pretty rough. She, uh, she bas being undocumented basically, she found a job cleaning offices uh, she wasn't driving she uh, took the bus every night coming home resetting oh yeah oh yeah appreciate it Thank you very much. Uh, nice to meet you. Um, so, I'm a 29 year old. Uh... Nope. <sighs> no, yeah, appreciate it. Uh, nice to meet you. So, I'm 29 years old. Uh, I was referred to you by uh, my primary care physician. Uh, Due to persistent feelings of sadness, uh, loss of interest, uh, suicidal thoughts, basically feeling worthless. Uh, I'm single. I lived with my mother in a small apartment. Uh, she died several months later. Um, just having a hard time dealing with uh, feelings of grief, guilt, and basically just not caring I'm just not the same ever since my mom passed so I'm an only child um, from a family that came from Mexico basically who immigrated into the US in the late 60s uh, I have memories of the age of five or maybe six uh, at home playing with my toys with my mom helping her cook and clean around the house uh, and my dad would work uh, long hours he worked at a shift factory uh, my family couldn't survive just on my dad's uh, salary alone so my mom found a uh, job at an employment uh, secured an employment uh, cleaning offices basically she didn't drive, so she took the bus every night coming home. Close to midnight, I was just terrified that something would happen to her. And my dad injured himself at work and retired on disability with a small pension at the age of uh, 45. And he committed suicide 12 years later. My mom only having uh, the income 
in the house uh, it's tough for her I, I wanted to help but they told me to stay in school and just keep studying so I graduated high school and I earned my associate's degree in optical technology. I'm grateful to have a a father uh, even though he wasn't around he saw how I dumped my uh, American girlfriend Uh, he raised me to be a good Mexican, uh, to find me a good Mexican girl to marry. But I fell in love with Christy instead. We were together for about five uh, years. Christy was clear that she was not yet ready to marry. <laughs> I was expected to be her support. Chrissy was a self-centered girl. You know, I look back and uh, I believe that Chrissy was just This, my, my rejection of Mexican heritage and deciding to move in with Christy while attending college uh, really cr contributed towards my dad. <laughs> you know, feelings of failure and uh, his decision to eventually end his life. My mom was sick. I felt so bad. And I wanted to stop her suffering, but the tragedy just wouldn't have happened if I, I, if I would have done something differently. I know my mom didn't take care of herself, but It's not fair. I always felt that my parents sacrificed a lot for me. I remember clearly praying to God to end mom's suffering. And now I feel guilty about that too. Today, 15 years later, I, uh, I believe that, uh, that I was basically a disappointment to my parents. I don't have much to show, but I just, I just want to know what's wrong with me. I mean, I'm well accomplished, I have good jobs. I see others having supportive families and adorable children. Just maybe God just decided that I don't deserve any of that.
Thanks for your time.